everybody. It's George here in the Pacific Northwest. This is a pretty typical day in Seattle, and that's a typical Seattle house right behind me. But then all of a sudden, what makes a person look at the front of their house and say, hmm, needs hubcaps? What's with that house? Yeah. There are lots of clues that this woodsy-looking craftsman and its detached studios are anything but ordinary. Take this herd of horses galloping through the front yard. Or the gnome garden party. I think everybody owns a headless statue. The only thing that does make sense in this land of coffee is this giant coffee cup. I'll have a half caffy cap 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 with whip, please. What would you call all this? It's very eccentric. I say, or kitschy. 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 Good word usage. Kitschy chick. Well, let's go meet this kitschy chick, Kelly, the resident artist. You know, I wish you would have dressed up and worn some colorful clothes for us. Well, the funny thing is, this is my, like, I'm out in the studio painting clothes. Well, you should see me when I get dressed up. Is it up. really? Oh, yeah. You no. know what's funny? Dead Seriously, serious. this is true. I had the same outfit on today. Yeah. I, but I changed it in the last because it made my butt look huge. Well, it is a man's. It, it was a man's, but I shrank it. So this is, like, normal house as far as you're concerned? Mm -hmm. Very much so. I'm pretty traditional in my taste. I think that's obvious. The, <laughs> other than artwork. <laughs> Apparently, Kelly's friends like to encourage her artistic tendencies. People bring me all these things. A friend yes. of mine brought over two large bags saying, you needed these hubcaps. I was like, I do, and I wasn't <laughs> quite sure what to do with them for a while. And the gnomes were gifts. The horses, I bought one of those horses, and then the rest have started appearing. Wow, what thoughtful friends dropping junk off at her house. They must get a real kick out of her. What's with a ginormous coffee cup? I had mentioned to a couple friends that I wanted some big sculptures as a way to avoid yard work. And the same day, I had two giant sculptures show up within half an hour of each other and then have never gotten one before or since. It was just kind of odd. Oh, I, I think there's more than a few things that are kind of odd around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wonder what those coffee-crazed Seattleites think of Kelly's eclectic collection? I can see the rocking horses from here. That was a little weird when I first moved in. I kind of thought, well, that's kind of different, rocking horses in the front yard. Well, do you think that the outside of our house looks normal? It does to me. How many hubcaps do you have on your house? Never mind. <laughs> if I said, I'll give you a thousand bucks to take that house. Only a thousand? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ponies, gnomes, and hubcaps on the outside. So what's on the inside? Here is what I kind of sort of expected. Yeah. <laughs> that I bought to give away to my mother, and I've never been able to part with it. That's an artist from North Carolina. You bought this to give to your mother? My mother loves peasant art. I will be scarred by this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but he's very disturbed. He's in a bad mood, and I'm not sure why. Every single bit of space in this two-bedroom, 1,400-square-foot fun house is covered with art. Who did this? It's Rebecca DeVere. Anyone that could paint on green shag deserves accommodations. Now, you like spam stuff. You're wearing a spam earring. You got spam stuff here. Well, I paint spamsters. What are spamsters? Spamsters is a hamster holding a can of spam or a hamster coming out of a can of spam. That was one of my first rodent puns that I started painting. I do a series of rodent puns. Dining room, art gallery. You know, it's really hard to tell the difference. Do you actually dine? In this um, room? Uh, very occasionally, but yeah, I throw parties. I throw a lot of parties. So is this all your stuff? Um, these pieces are all mine. What does the balloon in her pants symbolize? I think she's just being pretty gutsy. I mean, I'm, there's somebody there with darts. I have a whole bunch of different styles of art, real straight, figurative stuff, a lot of nudes, a lot of portraits, and I do pet portraits I love. Doing. Maybe you could do me in a, uh, like a pet nude portrait would be nice. Sure. Where, where are you going to hold that kitty? Oh, that's beautiful, baby. That captures your essence. And maybe not. Into the living room. And guess what? There's more art. This is kind of a, a noticeable piece. Mm -mm. I love her. In a fire, I'm running out with that. Really? This is your favorite that's, one? Uh, that's probably my favorite. Out of the whole place, that's it. I think so. I love that thing. Did you make it? No, it's an artist named Stacy Landy from L.A. So you uh, want to explain the sign there, sister? That is Randy Rabbit. I wish I could say it was true, but uh, that definitely doesn't have the... Well, uh, let's go upstairs, shall we? <laughs> and you can show me up there. <laughs> Leave the kids down on. here. Upstairs is an office and Kelly's master bedroom. You know what? This is actually like in here. 
This is sort of like girly normal. I don't strike you as feminine. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I, I mean, I figured maybe you'd have some flames on here and some, you know, some barbecue skewers. There are hats on the wall of her bedroom that make dress up time fun. Is, is it me? Be honest. Oh, yeah. Is it, I mean, is it too much? Huh? You got a little outside deck here? Got a little outside deck. I want to do, let's check it out. Okay. That is your art studio. That's my art studio. It's kind of the home split in two. Will you take me to it? I will indeed. You know you want to see it. Let's go. And is this a current piece you're working on? This is the current piece I'm working on. Those big fiberglass sculptures that they do in all the different cities. Um, the east side here is doing these bucks. This one's Don't Pass the Buck. Don't, pa don't Pass the Buck? Yeah, that's the name of this piece. Do, do not, I think it's Do Not Enter the Buck. You want to talk about animals, you should see the one in her garage. So this is Leopard Bernstein. Oh, yeah! <laughs> this is named so... after a stuffed animal I had as a kid when I was like two or three years old, so you have your permanent childhood with you. Oh, this is genius! Yeah. Why, thank you. Did they call you, uh, like, the car lady? Leopard or... lady. This little guy here has done 80 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. The truth is, is this outfit fits you, this car fits you, this home fits you. You're like so happy about it, it's great, you always have a perfect smile. I think if I could sum up, hey, tell me about Kelly, I think the one sentence I have is, subtle like a freight train. Yeah, yeah. Kelly, be more like Kelly. Be <laughs> the Kelly. Come on back. Green Acres, eat your heart out.